Hi, my name is Bob. This is the fourth instructional video for Lemon Point of Sale, a cash register program for a store that does inventory control and uses a barcode scanner and runs under Linux Ubuntu. I'm going to open up Lemon by means of Easy Stroke. Easy Stroke is a program which allows you to open programs and files with gestures. I've got Lemon set up with an L and Lemon's configuration program squeeze is set up with an S. The gestures you see over here on the left are in two color. The blue is where it starts so I'm making a capital L. I start at the top, come down, then go right. With squeeze S I start at the top in blue and just make an S. Easy Stroke has an initiation button from a mouse. I don't have a mouse. I'm using a laptop and the laptop has got two buttons on the pad. The button on the left is button one. The one on the right is three. In order to get two you hold both of them down simultaneously. I'll do that now. You'll hear the click and then I'll make a capital L. And Lemon will come up now the first thing that happens is you've got a screen where you need to log in and I will enlarge that portion of the screen and my username is going to be P password is P and then I hit OK. As soon as that happens over in the top left start operations control N highlights it lights up the rest of this stuff is still grayed out I will enlarge that portion of the screen and I can hit either control N or highlight right now as soon as I do that this other little screen pops up and it asks me how much do I want to start the day with and I'll put in a fictitious hundred dollars as soon as I do that the menu over on the left all lights up and I can open up this menu. Uh, I can uh, do anything I want. I can begin selling items. I want to show you how the menu itself works. As you can see it's alphabetical down here. C, D, F, L, and so on. And then next to each item I've got F11, F10, F8. If you right click and go to configure toolbars you can take any item here on the left highlight it and hit an arrow and that will show up on the menu. You can change the wording of any of these items by selecting it and then editing the text. I'm going to go down them right now and change one. Uh, you can see a lot of them are function keys but here's one that's a control key. Control minus is delete selected item. And then some of them I do not have any shortcut this one here uses the alt keys pay focus is alt a cash alt s credit card alt r it's bad enough I've used the function keys control keys but now I'm using the alt keys I'm going to clarify that a little bit by changing the text up here you can see where I can edit where I've got the line. I'm going to clarify it by putting in parentheses ALT just to remind myself that the letters in parentheses mean to hit the ALT key first or simultaneous. As soon as I say OK it's changed over here. Now let's say that I went up to oh any one of these F6 edited it and said not 
F6, but rather F whatever. That will not change the functionality. This is just the text. In order to change the functionality, I've got to go here to configure shortcuts. And I'll have to pick any shortcut, for, for example here F11, cancel a ticket, I could change that to anything else. But then after I did that, I would have to go over here to where it says F11 and change the text. The text is one thing, the shortcut is another thing. They need to correspond, of course. You can print this whole list out if you want to, and that will help you keep up with things. I'm going to close this now. I've got everything over here on the left. The reason it's over here is because I've got lock toolbar position clicked, but if I click it again and then right click, uh, I can put orientation and change this to the top. You see it's on the left, but if I wanted to I could put it on the right, on the bottom, on the top. Let me temporarily just hit top and there it is. But it doesn't show everything, does it? You have to go over to the extreme right and it shows the remainder of the items. If you like it that way, you can leave it that way. I don't like it that way. There's enough room on the program that you can put everything over on the left. And I'm going to put it on the left again. That's a matter of personal preference. Let me now go over to one blank screen and open up Squeeze. And Squeeze, the configuration program, I've set this up so that the menu is over on the right. And that's just a matter of personal preference. This stuff is down the right and I have not yet put in what the function key shortcuts are. There's another menu up here and you've got some shortcut keys that appear as soon as you highlight. I could add those if I wanted to. I haven't decided if I want to. It's a matter of personal preference. I don't think that one would be using all of these all of the time and it may not be worth it. You might be curious how did I move back and forth from one screen to the other. That's got nothing to do with Lemon any more than this program up here Easy Stroke did, but I'll show you that very briefly. In System, in Preferences, in Keyboard Shortcuts, I'll enlarge that. It's not in Sound, it's not in desktop, not in accessibility, but it is in window management. And you can move from workspace to the left to workspace to the right. And I put in shift and left arrow key and shift and right arrow key as my shortcuts. Uh, you can just hold down any key you want to or any key combination that you want to and that will be your new shortcut. So I will close this and when I want to go from screen to screen I'm holding down shift and left arrow key and it just moves me around from screen to screen. And I hope you enjoyed this video this was video number four, an instruction mostly about the menu structure of Lemon Point of Sale. My name is Pop. Thank you very much.